As the first female president of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland since its inception in 1654, this was a really big deal for Irish medicine. You typically walked into this building and are surrounded by male portraits and to be elected by my peers to the position and have the honour of getting my portrait painted to acknowledge that achievement was really, really important to me personally, but also to the profession. Our profession has evolved hugely over the past few decades. We now see more and more women doing medicine. Now when you walk into the college, my portrait is hanging amongst the male portrait as an equal. It was a really interesting experience seeing the portrait for the first time. The artist unveiled it and you're saying, gosh, is that really me? But I had such confidence in his ability to really have a good image of me that I was really happy. It was really wonderful that the Tichuk, Michal Martin, visited the building to unveil the portrait. It was a, such a happy time for me personally, for my family and for my friends. And he was very gracious on the day, meeting with the staff and all of those people that supported me through what has been a wonderful tenure. A portrait that I really like in the building is that of Lady Catherine Barry. Catherine was the wife of one of our presidents and it's really important to highlight the support our families give us during our tenure as presidents but also during a career in medicine. It really is a team effort not only at work but also at home. That support is really, really important for us. She also looks very stylish in it, and I like my style, so I admired her of her day. This is a college of generations. I pass the baton on to the next person, and Catherine is a reflection of that time, way, way back in the 18th century, that continued that important historic link. And also an acknowledgement to Catherine Barry's family who donated the portrait of her and her husband to it. It's keeping that historic link, the importance of the history of medicine in Ireland and the importance of keeping the link going from that 1654 up to our present day of 2023 and beyond.